Welcome back to another video. In this one, we're taking a look at this $50 2009 Mac Mini that I picked up today off of Gumtree. It was a bit of a drive, but for the price, I believe it was worth it. It actually even came with the original shipping box as well as the retail packaging. I have no idea how that power supply was supposed to fit in that box. Some of the key features are the bundled software, advanced Intel graphics, and 802.11n Wi-Fi. In the box, we have the machine itself, as well as some software and display adapters. The design of the Mac Mini still looks very sleek and modern, despite its original debut back in January of 2005. The 2009 Mac Mini here originally cost 1,049 Australian dollars. Around the back, it has a very generous selection of ports with a total of 5 USB 2.0. The base of the machine is made from rubber, which helps keep it in place when all the cables are connected. So, here we have everything that came with it in one shot. It came with the software as well. I think this is my fourth or fifth copy of Mac OS Snow Leopard. The external power supply is nearly as big as the Mac Mini itself. So, let's set the machine up with a keyboard, monitor, and mouse and see if it actually works. Upon powering up the display, I found it already turned on. It was running really slow, so I decided to do a fresh install of Mac OS 10.10 .10 Yosemite. In the disk utility, I was surprised to see that it had been upgraded to a 500GB hard drive. Far bigger than the 128GB one I thought it had. So I let it install and came back an hour later, and it was ready to go. First of all, I wanted to know whether the RAM had also been upgraded. Turns out it has 4GB of DDR3-1066 memory, so it is basically all good to go. No need to upgrade anything further. Firstly, I thought I'd try some YouTube playback. The pre-installed version of Safari handled playback at 1080p without any issues. As for gaming, it ran Minecraft at 1280x800 perfectly fine, getting between 50 to 70 frames a second. So basically, if you have any games that aren't very demanding, this Mac Mini should be able to play them. If you can find one cheap like this, I'd highly recommend one if you need a small desktop that can do basic tasks. Once again, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, and if you want to see more, definitely consider subscribing. I'm getting a lot of work at the moment, but I still will try to upload at least once a week. See you next time.